Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadow because I've all bought theme park news and welcome to a theme park news update. Now, this is sort of a follow on really from the coronavirus video that we did about the worldwide theme park industry and the UK theme parks are now starting to take effect. Alton Towers, Thorpe Park, Chessington and Blackpool Pleasure Beach among many other parks have announced that they are set to close and they will not open this opening weekend. Now Blackpool Pleasure Beach is not going to open this weekend. I'm pretty sure they won't open for the next few weeks as well. Uh, but Thorpe Park, Alton Towers and Chessington are the ones we're going to focus on in this video with the statements they put out last night. Uh, so Alton Towers first of all. So before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss your video. Please share with your friends, family and on social media. And make sure you get your questions in using the hashtag question before or after your question for the 1,500 subscriber Q&A. And for now guys, let's get into this video. So starting off with Alton Towers and the statement that they put out all over their social medias last night. So the statement from Alton Towers Resort states, uh, we've taken the very difficult decision to postpone the opening of Alton Towers Resort theme park and close the resort from tomorrow, aka March 20th, which is today. Uh, while we have been looking forward to welcoming everybody this week and we believe this is the right decision to protect the health and well-being of our employees and guests, the resort will remain closed until further notice. Please refer to our website and social media channels for further updates on reopening. If you've booked a visit to the resort in the coming weeks, please visit the website so you can see on your screen on the image. And I'll put that website in the description down below. I'll put all the websites in the description down below for this, so um, make sure you go and check that out. Thought part then on your screen now, Van Dabo Dorsey, they put out a slightly longer statement um, and they said, we've taken the very difficult decision to postpone the opening of Thought Park Resort. While we've been very looking forward to welcoming our pass holders this weekend and thrill seekers from next weekend, we believe this is the right decision to protect the health and well-being of our employees and guests. The attraction will remain closed until further notice. Please refer to our website and social media channels for further updates on reopening. If you've booked a visit to the park in the coming weeks, please visit the website, which I'll put in the description down below. And of course, it's on the image as well for more information and advice. Please note, we will not, will not be making further comments on this post, nor replying to DMs. If, having a, if after having reviewed our FAQs and you still need to contact us, please do so by emailing customer.services at thoughtpart.co.uk. We anticipate there will be a higher than usual level of inquiries. Thank you in advance for your patience and understanding. Now, that's... Um, that's a nicely put statement from both Thought Park and Alton Towers. Very nicely done there. Uh, now, of course, the final of the three parks that we are going to focus on in this video is Chessington World of Adventures. Uh, now, they didn't put anything on the image, which I'll put on your screen now. Fan of Adozzi. Uh, but they have said on Facebook, Adventurers, further to recent updates on the government on the response to the COVID-19 coronavirus outbreak, we've made the decision to close the resort from Saturday, March 21st, 2020. We believe this is the right decision to protect our health and well-being of our guests and staff. The resort will remain closed until further notice. Please refer to our website and social media channels for further updates on reopening. If you've booked a visit to us in the coming weeks, please visit the website which will be in the description down below, for more information and advice. Please bear with us during this unprecedented time. We really do appreciate your patience. There's a pride of people behind the screen working hard to help you all, so please be kind. I like how Chessington World of Adventures put please bear with us and a pride of people, like a pride of lions. They like to, they, they, they like to make, you know, they like to sort of make us laugh in these unprecedented times. So I like how the parks are doing that, uh, especially Chessington with that post. I like how they did that because the sort of, as, when I first read it, I sort of laughed a bit when it said, please bear with us, because um, it's good to laugh in times like these because it distracts you from the outside world. So I like how Chessington is still making our families laugh with little bits here and there to this day uh, in these times. So props to Chessington World Adventures for what they did with that post. Um, and props to Thorpe Park and Alton Towers and Blackpool Pleasure Beach and all the other parks that have said they're not going to open uh, this weekend as well. Uh, so of course, for those of you who need a bit of a reminder, before these posts came out, um, there were sort of certain attractions, definitely in Thorpe Park and Alton Towers, uh, that weren't going to open. So things like the Alton Towers Dungeon was going to be delayed, Darren Brown's Ghost Train, Angry Birds 4D, you know, all those indoor attractions where it's more... 
you know, confined spaces and people in large gatherings, etc., and sort of clumped together and not a certain distance apart. You know, I think that was the right decision, but then the sort of, in the back of my mind, I was thinking, well, surely they should close the whole park until further notice because it's technically a large gathering overall in the park, not just specific attractions. And they did make the right decision in the end. 100% it was the right decision. Now, Obviously, if there wasn't this epidemic and they did close for some unknown reason, I was like, oh, you know, Gangster Grand is opening this weekend, you know, I would have gone down and done some media stuff. Uh, Thought Park, we've got the Black Mirror Labyrinth opening, you know, I would have been, you know, it'd be very, very sad. 100% the right decision, especially in times like this, 100% the right decision. Um, and I'm pretty sure that the opening, obviously it's not going to matter but I'm in times like this, but I'm pretty sure the opening of the likes of Black Mirror Labyrinth and Gangster Granny the Rye will probably move to the summer now. Um, and to be fair, I usually do a summer visit once every year anyway, so it's no real change from any other year. So, you know, it, it, it's 100% it's, it's the right move. 100, 100% the right move uh, from the park. So, uh, props to Thorpe Park, Alton Towers, Chessington, Blackpool, Pleasure Beach, and the rest of the UK theme parks for doing this. Uh, Dreamland Margate, uh, I don't believe they're going to open either, so... Um, you know, that again, good move by Dreamland Margate. Um, you know, everything's affecting the... Uh, well, the coronavirus is affecting everything in this in this world. You know, theatres, uh, sports, um, you know, many football clubs like Gillingham, for example. They're worried the club could go bust, maybe, uh, which I saw online um, yesterday, and that broke my heart um, that people could be losing their jobs and people could be going bust over this. Uh, obviously some UK theme parks like Drayton Manor, like Water Valley, you know, we've all said in the industry for the last couple of years that they could be on the brink of closure if they don't invest. Things like this, and of course the flooding that happened before that at Drayton Manor, obviously it's like a, another nail in the coffin for these parks, so, uh, you know, we start to, you know, really feel for these kind of parks. Obviously Thorpe Park and Alton and Chessington are nowhere near, you know, going to close. There's Blackpool Point Beach as well. But, the theme park industry is really taking a hit from this. So I think this is one of the toughest years. In fact, in my opinion, it's the toughest year in the theme park industry with theme parks closing uh, and things like that. I did see online, though, as a bit of lighter news that a park in Asia is set to reopen soon. In fact, they might have already reopened. So I think that's a sign that China's gone through the worst of it. So I think with the peak month for the UK being around May, June... Um, and sort of, I saw someone online that was like, you know, this pandemic could go up to 12 weeks or it could be sort of reached its climax and sort of coming down in the next 12 weeks. Uh, so that could be a sign that we have a, a massive summer um, and everything reopens and things like that to make up for lost time. So um, we'll sort of see, we'll keep eyes on the whole situation. Uh, obviously, we're still pushing out theme park news updates, you know, teasers for 2020 attractions, the Twin Lakes one we released yesterday, plans for the Manchester Water Park that we released yet, um, a couple of days ago as well. Uh, so we've still got loads of construction updates, loads of news updates to push out, so uh, I hope you guys are really excited for all of that still. Uh, make sure you go subscribe over to my second channel as well, uh, if you love football content, because I'm going to be posting a lot more on there as well. Uh, with the brand new second channel coming so uh, make sure you go subscribe to that I'll put that in the description down below of this, these videos from now on uh, so you can subscribe to both channels uh, for now guys thank you very very much for watching this video please like, comment, subscribe and click notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video if there's any Coast Channel reviews or any Close But Not Forgotten videos you want me to do over the sort of I guess technically extended close season uh, then please don't be afraid to put them in the comments down below I love your suggestions and for now guys Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys in the next video in the very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.